Right, I'm going to try and use this model of an oxygen atom to explain to you um, ionisation energy. Completely new process. You won't have come across it uh, at GCSE. So we've got the oxygen atom looking very familiar. So we've got our uh, nucleus here with the eight protons and the eight neutrons um, in the middle there. We've got two electron shells here and here. So oxygen has eight electrons all together. And as you told at GCSE, we're going to put two in the first shell and six in the second shell. So it has an electronic configuration of, of two, six. Just point out a couple of things around the side here that you can keep an eye on. Um, this process is always measured in the gaseous state so everything has to be a gas um, one electron at a time is removed so you would never remove two or three at once it's always one at a time one electron is removed from each atom in a mole of atoms so you'd never have an isolated atom totally on its own so the whole process deals with the removal of one electron from each atom in a mole of atoms in the gas state. Once you've removed one electron, well I'll demonstrate that now, okay? So we've got our oxygen atom with its eight electrons and its eight protons. So let's say the green stand for protons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The protons are positively charged, uh, the electrons are negatively charged, the neutrons in the middle are, uh, have no charge at all. So we want to remove one electron from this atom. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, I've got to give it some energy, haven't I? Because the negative electrons are all attracted by the positive protons in the nucleus. So I'm going to put my best Subutio flick on and I'm going to get rid of this electron and there it goes hey, hang on I'm <laughs> sorry about that, I must get a sign for me door that says filming in progress and maybe I won't be interrupted right so have a look at the model now what have we got we've got we've still got eight protons in the nucleus so we've got a positive charge of eight plus We've now only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons. We've got seven electrons, seven minuses, and eight pluses. So the overall charge now, it's not neutral anymore, so we haven't got an atom anymore. We've got an ion, and it, this would be a one plus ion. Okay, so that takes me to this corner here. Ionization energy is also about the removal of one electron from each ion in a mole of ions. So once you've removed the first electron, that's known as the first ionization energy, we're now going to remove the second electron. Again, that's going to take energy. Now have a think about, is this going to take more energy or less energy than the first ionization energy? And the key to this is how many pluses and how many minuses we've got. So we've got eight protons in the nucleus but we've now only got seven electrons so are the electrons going to be attracted more strongly or less strongly than before well the answer is they're actually now attracted more strongly so to remove this second electron from this ion is going to take even more energy Ooh. so that's gone there so what have we got now? We've got still got eight pluses in the nucleus, but we've now got one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. So we've got six minuses and eight pluses. What's the overall charge? We've now got a two plus ion. What I've just demonstrated there was the, rem the second ionization energy. We're now going to remove the third electron so that's what we call the third ionization energy. So is that going to take more energy or less energy? 
6 minuses but 8 pluses. It's going to take more energy. So let's see if we can get this one out. Give it a hard flick. <coughs> Ow, that hurt. <laughs> so can you see how this works now? So it's one electron at a time. Gaseous state. We're not dealing with atoms anymore. We're dealing with this corner here. One electron from each ion in a mole of ions. So what kind of ion have we got now? We've got eight pluses still, one, two, three, four, five electrons. So this is now a three plus ion. Which electron are we going to remove now? We're going to remove the fourth electron. So it's the fourth ionization energy coming up. So we're going to take this one out now. Let's get rid of that one. Gone. Quite enjoying this. And Let's get rid of the rest, shall we? Or we'll, we'll stop at a certain point. So, the next one would look like this. Bam, gone. And let's get rid of this one. Should have brought a snooker cue, shouldn't it? Right. Right, we've got two electrons now in this inner shell, the first shell. We've still got eight protons in the nucleus. So these electrons are going to be more strongly attracted for a couple of reasons now because we've got eight protons keeping hold of two electrons so there's going to be a large attractive force there. But you can see on the diagram we've also moved into a new shell. So this is going to take an absolute monster amount of energy to get these two electrons out. And I don't, I'm not sure if my fingers are up to flicking these out. Should have brought a baseball bat or something like that to get these last two electrons. You can obviously tell by the way I'm talking there is it's going to take loads more energy to get this out. So what can I use to... Here. I'm going to use my water bottle. Let's see if I can whack this one out. Okay, ready? So we need to... Bang! Gone. Okay, so that one's gone. And we're now left with the, the final electron. So we've now got um, one electron, eight protons, massive, massive amount of energy needed to get this out because the attraction is going to be so strong. This is the final ionization energy for oxygen. So this is going to be the eighth ionization energy. We've got what good, what's going to be the charge of the ion that we're removing the electron from. Well, it's going to be eight pluses, one minus, so this is going to be a seven plus ion. So, you know, some of these things are quite unfamiliar to you, but hopefully this has got, got, the, uh, got the idea across. So let's whack this one out. Oh. Um, well, that, would, that wouldn't have happened. The nucleus would have stayed intact, but you get the idea. The final thing I want to show you now is how you would write some of those processes as chemical equations. So we'll do the first, the first ionization energy. So we started with the neutral atom because we had the same number of protons and electrons. So we did oxygen there, so we'll go O. So we're dealing with the atom, not the O2 molecule, so it's just O. Remember we said it's got to be in the gas phase, so we need the state symbol for gas. And we removed one electron from each atom, each oxygen atom, in a mole of atoms. So the oxygen atom became the particle with still got eight protons in the nucleus, but it's now only got seven electrons. So it was O plus, it'll be one plus charge. So it'll be O plus, still in the gas phase, so you must put the state symbol in, and there is the one electron that was removed. So if that was a, a mole of um, oxygen atoms, you'd have a mole of these produced, and you'd have a mole of electrons produced as well that, that are removed. So we'll do, we'll do the second one. So we're starting with this particle now, so we've got O plus, 
gas, don't forget the G. And we're going to remove the electron, put that in first if you want. So that electron's gone, so this is not going to be O plus anymore. It's going to be O2 plus, still in the gas phase. So that's how the second ionisation energy would look. And they just go on like that. So I suppose the last one we should do, we'll do the eighth. So we're starting with the O7 plus gas. So we're going to remove that final electron so it will become O8 plus gas. And there's that final electron well and truly gone.